Vegan Steve's coming at you with a full body resistance band workout routine. If you're looking for a routine that can be done absolutely anywhere, grab a pair of resistance bands and you're good to go. So let's get into it. Starting off with legs, we have the Bulgarian split squats, and this is one of my favorite leg exercises. The setup is a lot like a lunge, except you're going to have your back foot elevated. When you're dipping down your leg, you're going to want to put that weight on the back leg rather than the front leg, because that's going to prevent a knee injury. Dip that back knee as close to the ground as possible, and you're going to understand why this is one of the greatest leg workouts you can do. It hits every single muscle in the leg and is a must have for your resistance band workout routine. So keep those feet elevated and we're going to the chest with the decline push-ups. So I love different push-up variations using resistance bands and this is one of the best you can do. It hits your upper pec super hard and it is a must-have push-up variation if you're looking for different ones to do. Next up to bat, we have shoulders and we have the shoulder press. I love doing the one arm shoulder press just to switch up how I do the workout, but also at the same time, it allows me to use a higher resistance when doing one shoulder at a time. So I'm using my second highest resistance band and this one hits super hard and is a good switch up from the regular two arm shoulder press. Onto the back, we have seated rows, so you might be able to see it, but for this one, I actually have my hands close together, because I've done seated rows before with my hands separated, and it's hitting that outer back. But with my hands together, it's a lot like that seated row at the gym, and you're hitting that inner back super well. So this is a great variation of the seated row to do. And as you would with any seated row, you're gonna pull that band and squeeze your back at the top of that rep, and then let that band back slowly. Onto the triceps, we have the one arm overhead extensions. So for this, you're gonna have your arm up straight and your elbow down to your shoulder is gonna stay isolated. And you're gonna be letting that hand dip down with that forearm and you're gonna bring it back up. And the whole time you're gonna be using that tricep to push that forearm and hand back up and then letting it down slowly. Completing the arms with just regular bicep curls. So for this one, when I'm doing two arms at once, I usually drop a band just to keep that movement a lot more controlled. But when you're bringing it up, make sure you're squeezing your biceps at the top of that rep and bring that hand as close to the shoulder as you can during the workout. It's easy to start bending your wrist when doing this workout, but you want to make sure your wrist is straight and the only muscle you're utilizing is that bicep. Finishing up this routine with abs, and like I usually say, make sure you're hitting all parts of your core, your obliques, your uppers, your lowers. So switch up those workouts as often as you can and work that core fully. The key to ab workouts is to squeeze your core throughout the entirety of each rep. That's gonna strengthen those muscles the most.
I appreciate everybody stopping by and doing this full body workout with me today. Resistance bands allow you to have effective workouts that can be done anywhere. Like and subscribe to support the channel. Check out the page for more full body workouts like this. I appreciate all the support and I'll catch you next time.